we encounter many problems not only in mathematics but also in our daily lives. Consider the following problem. Mrs. Chan went home one day. When she reached her front door, she found that her keys were missing from her handbag. She must have dropped them somewhere on her way home. Now she cannot get into her flat. There was no one at home as her children had gone to school and her husband had gone overseas. None of her children had the key to the front door. Her husband, who has the other set of keys, will only be home during the weekend. How can she solve her problem? There are a few basic steps in problem solving. Click on each of the following buttons to see how the problem can be analyzed. Mathematical problem solving involves the use of thinking skills and heuristics. Look at this question. 56 job applicants are asked if they can speak French and German. How many applicants speak both French and German? What information do we have? What do we know that is not stated in the question? Next, we need to devise a plan. To make a plan, we need to choose one or more strategies. The next step is to carry out the plan. Use the strategy we have selected and work the problem out. We make the first guess about the number of applicants who speak both French and German. If two applicants speak both French and German, then 24 minus 2 equals 22 applicants speak French only, and 15 minus 2 equals 13 applicants speak German only. Thus, the total number of applicants will be 65. This will lead to a contradiction. We need to make another guess. To do guessing and checking in a more systematic way, we can consider making a table to help us. Can you see a pattern from the table? What is the value of B? so that t equals 56. Eleven applicants speak both languages. Finally, we need to check if the answer is reasonable and correct. The URA has built a new car park near an industrial park. Cars and six-wheeled trailers can be parked at this new car park. The parking fee for cars is $1 per hour, while the hourly fee for trailers is $1.60. At 7.30 a.m., 
There were 13 vehicles at the car park. These vehicles had a total of 68 wheels. Can you calculate how much parking fee will be collected for that hour? Do you still remember the four steps in problem solving? We need to find out the number of each type of vehicles before we can determine the parking fee. To do this, we need to use the strategy of guess and check. Next, we need to carry out the plan. Click on the boxes and key in your guesses about the number of cars and trailers. How much parking fee will be collected? Click on the box and type in your answer. Now look back at the given problem. We need to do some reflecting. This is a magic circle. The sum of the numbers in the boxes along each straight line and along each circle are the same. Fill in all the boxes with the numbers 1 to 8. There are 11 players in a soccer team. If each of the players shakes hands with every other player exactly once, how many handshakes are made altogether? To work out the problem, we can use the strategy of drawing a diagram. We simplify the problem first. Suppose only two players are involved. Then the number of handshakes is one. If we add one more player to the diagram, The number of handshakes will be three. If four players are involved, the number of handshakes will be six. How many handshakes can be made if five players are involved? Observe the above pattern. Can you find the total number of handshakes for 11 players? Total number of handshakes equals 10 plus 9 plus 8 plus 7 plus 6 plus 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 equals 55. We can also find the number of handshakes by drawing a table. The colored squares represent the handshakes. The school is organizing an inter-class soccer tournament for its eight primary four classes after the examinations. It will be played using a knockout system. In other words, only the teams that win will play on. In order to allocate referees for the different matches, the teacher in charge wants to know how many matches will be played altogether. Can you help him out? We can use the strategy of drawing a diagram to represent the matches. Another way of solving it is to simplify the problem by restating it in another way. If we had asked, how many teams have to be knocked out before we can declare the winner? Clearly, we know that six out of seven teams have to be knocked out, since there is only one winner. Hence, we need six matches. Four couples went skiing together on Mount Cook. 
The men's names are Ken, Elfie, Charles, and Dennis. The women's names are Carol, Evelyn, Doreen, and Kitty. Use the following clues to determine each set of husbands and wives by dragging each of the pairs into a circle. Clues: Ken is Doreen's brother. Kitty has three brothers, but her husband is an only child. Dennis was the cameraman at Doreen's wedding. The names of Carol and her husband both begin with the same initials. Click on the hint button if you need any help. From clue one, we know that Ken is not Doreen's husband. Clue three tells us that Dennis is not Doreen's husband. Clue four shows that Charles is Carol's husband. From clue one, clue three, and clue four, we deduce that Elfie is Doreen's husband. From clue one and clue two, we know that Ken is not Kitty's husband. Kitty's husband is Dennis, and Evelyn's husband is Ken. This rectangular piece of paper is folded horizontally. There is one crease. When the paper is folded two times. There are three creases. When the paper is folded three times, there are seven creases. How many creases can we get when the paper is folded four times? There are fifteen creases. We can draw a table to see how the number of folds is related to the number of creases. Can you predict how many creases there will be after seven folds? Click on hint button if you need any help. The molecules of a certain family of organic compounds can be represented by the following chemical structures: C represents the carbon atom, and H represents the hydrogen atom. Can you construct the next member of the family? Use the model of the carbon and hydrogen atoms to construct this model. A member of this family of hydrocarbons has a molecule that contains ten carbon atoms. How many hydrogen atoms does this molecule contain? Click on hint button if you need any help.